Just four years ago, this is what Bill Finnegar's home looked like after the Bridger Foothills fire. One of the few things that remained, a flagpole. Today, that house has been restored, so what better way to celebrate than by raising the red, white, and blue? We call this uh, from fire to water. It's where our old house was, and we dug it out and made a pond out of it. To be honest, we, we never thought we would lose the house. Four years ago, Bill Feniger and his wife's home burnt to the ground during the Bridger Foothills fire. What they found when they were finally able to return? There was nothing left. My mother's stuff, her mother's stuff, all generations of stuff gone. The few things that did survive the fire were turned into art pieces that the Fenegers have on display in their new home. But one of those items was a bit too large to be brought inside. The flagpole survived. It was damaged, but it survived. That's when former Sheriff Brian Gukin, who was on duty during the Foothill fires, stepped in and offered the Fenegers a new flag. But this was no ordinary flag. It was a flag from fallen officer Jake Almendinger's funeral. He brought it up and, and raised it where the burnt flag had burned down. We came up and it was a, just an unbelievable sight to see. Wednesday, that sight was unbelievable for a different reason. For the last four years, the Fenegers have been living in a rental home on the other side of Bridger Canyon until a few months ago. How does it feel today to have a full new home that you're moved into, it looks like? It, it's just, it's magnificent feeling. It's a great recourse of going from the depths to the heights. A new flagpole was installed just last week, so the Fenegers felt it was only right to invite the former sheriff back to help raise that same flag that means just as much today as it did four years ago. Oh, it warms the heart. Uh, it was really, really nice. You know, and then of course, then I start to think about that whole incident and all of the things that we did and just how amazing it was that uh, no one lost their lives. It's surreal. And although there is now a pond where the old home used to be, Bill says he's proud of what they've accomplished with this new one. We got a house that we built, we designed it ourselves and it's everything we've always wanted. It just replaced everything that we loved before, but better. In Bozeman, Cassidy Powers, MTN News.